Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy Kingdom Soldier and I'm back again with another commentary. Today I want to give you my predictions for the X Games. Now, if you have not seen the esports report, I'm going to do my best to kind of break down how everything is going to work. If you have seen the esports report, then just sit tight while I explain exactly how this group play is going to work and then the single elimination bracket that's going to be produced out of group play. Now this group play is really unique compared to how we've seen group play like a COD Champs where everybody plays everybody and whoever has the best record you know gets out of the bracket. Well the way that this these groups are gonna work is that the first seed plays the last seed and the two middle seeds play each other and then the winner of those two games play and whoever wins that game automatically goes to the four team single elimination bracket for the gold, the silver, and the bronze medal. And the two teams that the team that wins from the two first losers and then the team that loses in the second game, in the second round, in the winner's round or whatever you want to call it, those two teams play each other and then that team would determine the other, t that game would determine the other two teams that go to the single elimination bracket. Now I know that was probably very confusing. However, let's just walk through the groups and then we'll figure it out. So, in the first group, Group A, we've got EG, Optic Nation, Team Caliber, and Strictly Business. Now, Strictly Business barely made it in. To be honest with you guys, I have nothing against Strictly Business, but I think it is weird, it is interesting, and it's their fault, but it is interesting that the team that won the U.S. Championship is not in this tournament. The team, the last team to beat EG, old school complexity, on land, even though it was not really a tournament, the last team to beat them on land, in a land tourney, was that SB roster, which of course Strictly Business is still there, which is funny, but it's a completely different roster. And I would have liked to have seen, in all honesty, the Phase Black roster play in this event, in at MLG X Games. And if I could replace Curse Orange, who really got in based on beefed up pro points from Miyagi and Saint, who they brought in to replace Croster, and I think Croster really only had like 12,000 pro points. So the reality is, if we could have Phase Black and Curse Black instead of SB and Curse Orange, it would make for a more entertaining tournament in terms of uh, competition. Because can you imagine the first round of the X Games being Phase Black versus Evil Geniuses? That would just be ridiculous. So the way it's going to pan out is that EG is going to play SB. You can see on the, on the um, bracket pool that I have up in the corner, you can see that EG is going to play SB. First plays last. And no-brainer, in my opinion, EG takes that. That's just a given. And then Optic Nation plays T -ca Team Caliber. Now, Team Caliber still has not been able, and I know we've seen them online, but they also uh, didn't do as well as they wanted to on land at Niagara. And I know they had a substitute for Apathy, and that's the real deal is that this team, this roster has not played on land together. And so while they're trying to figure stuff out online with a bad connection, they're going to have a hard time even building confidence as a team that they can win because they've been losing so much in League Season 2. I think Optic Nation takes this game. I think that Optic Nation wins and Evil Geniuses wins. And, you know, to be funny, guys, if, if we really wanted to, I mean, look at, the, look at the groups. You could chop off the bottom four teams and predict that your top four single elimination bracket is going to be... Optic Nation, Optic Gaming, Envious, and EG. And that would make for a very entertaining Final Four at the X Games if it was those four teams. However, there are some opportunities that some teams are going to have uh, to steal. So EG, in my opinion, is going to win their game. Optic Nation is going to win their game. EG is going to beat Optic Nation. That'll be a good match but i believe the eg is going to win and they're going to go on and punch their ticket to the single elimination bracket and whoever optic nation plays whether it's tk or sb i think they're going to win that as well and so group a is going to produce optic nation and evil geniuses as the winners of that group now the other group uh you have envious playing curse orange in the first round i really i i it's in my opinion Cur envy has been playing too well especially on land they're going to win that match and then in the Optic Gaming and Phase Red, now when Stainville was on the ESR, he said that he thinks that that match could go either way. I'm going to give it to Optic Gaming, not because, not just because they're an amazing team, but one of the things that Clayster said that was affected his play uh, 
recently is that he really didn't know what he should have been doing. And I think that he's still adjusting to Proofy playing on the team. And when you had those two objective players like Imbos and Nadeshot, you had them both running around. You know, Clayster knew he had to kind of be that stationary AR type of role. But with Proofy on the team, it's a little bit different. You know, Proofy and Skump are similar type of slayers. And so I think that, you know, Clayster is still getting a feel. But these next couple of weeks of play and Clayster playing in these 2v2s and one and duns and all this kind of stuff and playing with Scump and playing with Proofy and playing in the league I think is going to get their team in position and I see Optic Gaming taking this match against FaZe Red uh, and FaZe Red you know they struggled on LAN as well I believe they finished 9th through 12th or something like that at Niagara and or 12th through 16th and you know they struggled they've been struggling on land as well and you know theory is still trying to figure out how to play without sharp sharp is still trying to figure out how to play without theory and i i think they will figure it out uh, however i think at x games um that optic gaming is going to take that and then when optic gaming faces envious now this is going to be a memorable match at the x games when optic gaming faces envious second round of group b uh, I see Optic Gaming edging them out. I know that Envious has played better of recent. They played better recently uh, at Champs, at Niagara. But I think that Optic Gaming, they're going to get it together. And when this team figures out how to play together, they are going to be dangerous because of the power, that, the slaying power that they have, the intelligence they have. Nade Shot was number two in search and destroy kill death ratio with a 1.83 at Niagara. And I just see Optic Gaming going off and having a great game and beating Envious. Uh, and so when they beat Envious, they're going to punch their ticket. And EG and Optic Gaming will be the first two teams to punch their ticket to uh, the single elimination bracket. Now, Envy should be the other team. Because they're going to play against the winner of Phase Red and Curse Orange, which I think will be Phase Red. But this is where Phase Red could pull off an upset and punch their ticket to that single elimination bracket. I honestly, at this point, if I had to predict it, I would of course say that Envy is the favorite. But I do believe Phase Red could pull off an upset right here. I don't think they can beat Optic Gaming at, on LAN at this point, and at, at that point in the game anyway, in a few weeks or on the 6th of June. But... I do believe that FaZe Red could beat Envious, and they match up well against them. I think they could beat them and punch their ticket, and it could be EG, Optic Gaming, Optic Nation, and FaZe Red. Either way, I see both Optic teams making it to the Final Four, EG, of course, making it to the Final Four, and that last spot is going to be between Envious and FaZe Red, in my opinion. It's going to be between Envious and Phase Red. And the way that the single elimination is going to work is basically once you lose, you can't win. So if uh, if EG and if two, the, you know, four teams play each other, and so the two teams that won are the two teams that are playing for first and second, and that's it, you know. And then the two teams that lost are playing for, for third. They're playing for the bronze. Now, I feel sorry for whichever team makes it to the final four and is the one team out of the four of them that doesn't get a medal at the X Games. I would be so sad. I, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't even care if I got bronze. I would be happy just to get bronze. Uh, so let me know in the comments what you guys think. Who's going to win these groups? Who's going to win single elimination? If I had to go with a number one team, of course, I'm going with EG. I keep saying that Optic Gaming is going to beat them. They're going to win an event. This could be their event. I thought Niagara could have been their event. I picked Optic Gaming uh, to lose to Complexity in the finals, but it didn't work out that way. Uh, I, I am picking that again. I'm picking that the finals is going to be Optic Gaming versus uh, Old School Complexity, now EG. Fwiz, however, when the bra a while back, uh, I think it was like three ESRs ago, he said that or last week, Fwiz said that he has Optic Nation winning the X Games. What do you guys think about that? Could Optic Nation pull off the crazy upset, not only beat Optic Gaming, but also beat EG and win the X Games? Who knows? I mean, they're a good squad. And they outplaced Optic Gaming at Niagara, so who knows? You guys let me know who you think is going to win this tournament and who you think the gold, silver, and bronze medalists are going to be. This is your boy, Kingdom Soldier, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.